Hello everyone, I don't know how is the weather in your country, but in my country it's super hot now. So what I like to eat these days are cold soups. So today I'm gonna show how I can make one of my favorite ones. Cucumber soup aka cucumber gazpacho with coconut cream and melon gel. So let's do it. And let's start with cucumber gazpacho. I will leave full recipe with measurements in the description below, but keep in mind that you can adjust the recipe for your situation and your taste. For my vegetables, I'm gonna use cucumber, celery, chili and bell peppers, but you can also think about something like a shallots or garlic. So I will chop roughly the vegetables and I transfer them straight into the blender. Like I said, you can experiment with kinds and amounts of vegetables, but you need mostly green or white ones. I'm gonna take out the seeds from the chilies, but if you like heat, you can leave them in. For my herbs, I'm gonna use basil and a little bit of spinach for the taste, but you can also put something like a parsley leaf or coriander. So I press them in, add a little bit of water, white wine vinegar and sugar, and let's blitz it. Your seasoning doesn't have to be perfect now, because you can put more at the end if needed. I want to keep my gazpacho nice and green, but if you don't mind the color, you can put something like a yogurt or coconut cream inside as well. For the thickening, I'm gonna use bread, but if you wanna keep it gluten-free, you can use something like santan gum. So I chop few slices of bread and put them also in. You can adjust the thickness with them how you like. I forget to put salt, so I do it now and I blitz everything for at least 5 minutes. I keep a little bit in the plastic bottle for the plating and the rest I keep inside the plastic container and I chill it inside the fridge. And my beautiful, super tasty gazpacho is done. So the gazpacho is inside the fridge. Just make sure before plating, the soup has to be completely cold. And for the garnish, I will do easy melon caviar. Before you do anything, make sure you put your vegetable oil inside the freezer so it gets the right temperature. Then you can chop your melon. And let's give it to taste to my food inspector so we know if it's good. It works out, so I can chop it, transfer it to the blender, season it with lemon juice and sugar, and let's blitz it. I use just the low speed because I don't want to blitz the seeds at all. Now you can strain it and let's make the gel. So I add agar powder inside. I'm doing 500 ml of liquid. So I add 5 grams of agar and I cook it for few minutes. I also add a bit of red food coloring. So I end up with the better color. And the last step is to drip it slowly inside the oil. And melon caviar is done. I want to get also something crispy inside this recipe, so I will make easy pineapple scramble. So I mix flour, sugar, butter, lemon zest and salt with a hand blender. And when it's everything mixed, I add pineapple and finish it with the hands.
Then I will put it on the baking paper and bake it for around 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. After that, you have to leave it to cool down and find that scramble is ready for the plating. And the last thing I want to do is easy coconut yogurt. The first thing you have to do is to strain the yogurt and coconut cream with the cheesecloth. I'm using 50-50 ratio of yogurt and coconut, but you can do different ratios for sure. If you leave it like this for a few hours inside the fridge, you get better thickness and the taste. Then you can just season it with lime juice and salt. I also blitz it with a hand blender so I get better texture and it will be ready for the plating. For this recipe I am gonna use this white flat plate. Picking the right plate for your recipes is a very important skill guys. Because a lot of people send me pictures of their food for the feedback on a daily basis, I found out that most of them are not able to pick the right plate because they have just one or two basic ones and that's why the dishes doesn't feel that good. If you want to really learn plating and be creative, I recommend you to get at least five different plates with different shapes and sizes. So like this, you can experiment and improve much faster. I'm getting my plates now from Apollo Work website which is also a sponsor of this video. These guys have so many beautiful plates in the stock that are not expensive. Best restaurant spends a lot of money on expensive plates, but you don't have to guys. Just get a few basic ones, but with different shapes and colors as you have now at home, and you can experiment and improve your plating. If you use coupon code MIKE20 on Apollo Works website, you will get 20% off your order. Check out the link in the description below. And now, let's do the plating. I start with my green gazpacho on the bottom of the plate. I'm using bottle, but you can do it of course even with a spoon. I make it nice and flat and then I put few spoons of my melon caviar. Few pieces of pine nut scramble. Then is coming my coconut cream. and I will finish it with small leaves of basil. So what do you think guys? I think it looks pretty cool. If you enjoyed today's recipe, don't forget to give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what would you like to see more on my channel so I can make it for you. And if you want to learn another cold summer soup, check out this video and learn how you can make my delicious strawberry gazpacho at home. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.